I'm only talking to the people that are ready to get to the next level of their life and their career. And they're going to boldly walk into the next season of their life, unapologetically getting rid of all things, people, and situations that no longer belong in their life. Most of you, most of you, you're so consumed with everything that's going on in the world. This is the reason you haven't figured out your own life yet. Every blog, every website, every tweet, every Instagram post, you are so consumed with everything that's going on in the world you're ignoring your own world. You can never shine trying to sit on someone else's sun. You can never figure out who you are if you're consumed in everything that everybody else is and what they're doing and the moves that they're making. Because you're trying to chase someone else's life. You're trying to chase someone else's lifestyle and identity, all while ignoring your own life and your own path. What is the vision for your life? What are the ideas and the dreams for your life? What are you supposed to be doing? Who are you? What are your gifts and talents? What is your ultimate destiny and your goals? And you should understand this, that it was always gonna be your family and your friends that would be the first ones to try and talk you out of your vision and your big idea. That's why you're supposed to live your life Focus on your intentions and do your thing. If you allow your self-worth to be based on what other people think of you is the beginning of the end. I believe in me. If you stop believing in me, I'm not going to believe in myself any less. If you believe that I'm irrelevant, that no one is checking for me, and that I don't mean anything to the world. Because you think or believe that about me, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna believe it about myself. See, the day that you start living your life according to everybody else's opinion is the beginning of the end. Most of you guys don't actually know your self-worth. You don't know your self-value. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, independent of the validation of the world. Have opinions and feelings about yourself, independent of the feedback. I really think that if you get rid of the trash in your life, that can be people, business, and situations, you too could really like, I really believe that you can reach your full potential. I want you to fly. I want you and your career and your financial blessings to bypass me. Welcome to Motivation Basics, day five of five. So throughout this course, we've been defining motivation as emotions fueling actions that move you towards your goals. We've talked about emotional intelligence and some questions you can ask yourself to motivate yourself towards your goals. Yesterday we asked, how do my actions towards my goals strengthen my motivation? The idea that our actions towards our goals make us feel more motivated, that we feel fired up when we're almost there, when we can see the finish line. So tying together what we've been learning these past few days, I can share with you the most valuable motivation technique. And that's one thing at a time. And so let me go over this. You might recall a few days ago when I asked you this question, when do you feel the strongest emotions moving you away from your goals? And I mentioned at the very beginning when you're first looking at your goal and it's way, way far away, that you don't feel as motivated as, say, when you're right next to it, when you can see the finish line. I asked, when do you feel the strongest emotions moving you towards your goals? And again, that's right before it happens. So say if you've been standing in line for a movie premiere or standing in line for a big concert, Hours before, I mean, you might feel somewhat excited, but kind of bored just standing there waiting in line. Maybe you're, you're hanging out, having some fun. But you feel the strongest emotion when that line starts moving and people start going inside. Yesterday, we talked about first getting an essay assignment that was a month away. 
So there wasn't much motivation behind it other than it being worth half your grade. As that due date came closer, and as you took action steps towards that goal, you became more and more motivated to finish because you were right there. The goal line was right in front of you. When we talk about one thing at a time, take one action step at a time towards your goals. Let's say you put off that big essay and it's just a few days away and you feel overwhelmed. Well, if you take a look at the whole thing, doing all the action steps, then of course you'll feel overwhelmed. The goal is still so far away. But if you break this down and say one thing at a time, then you can ask yourself, what's the one thing I can do right now to move me towards that goal? Well, maybe the one thing is opening up your binder and looking for the requirements. So opening up your binder becomes the goal in front of you. You could feel motivated to open up your binder. Once you open up that binder, well, you've just met your first goal. All right, second goal, look for the requirements. Is looking for the requirements as overwhelming as looking at the huge goal of finishing the whole essay? No. So you can feel motivated by taking an action step towards that goal of looking for the requirement. You flip through your notes and you found, bang, there's the requirements. So another goal met. So each moment you fall back to this idea of one thing at a time, that the goal is right in front of you. And if you keep doing that, then your major goal will be done. Not only will it be done, but it'll be done in less time, with less effort, and better quality. This I guarantee, one thing at a time. Of course, this basic training is just a tip of the iceberg. If you're open and willing to try more powerful tips and strategies to becoming a highly effective, highly efficient ninja-like student, see you inside FastStudySkills.com.